To log in to the GST portal for the first time, start by visiting the URL www.gst.gov.in. You will be taken to the GST portal's home page as displayed on your screen. Click the login link located on the top right hand side of the page. The login page will display with fields to enter the username and password. This login prompt is meant for users who have completed the first time login steps already. We'll come back to this in the next video. Since we are going to log in to GST portal for the first time in this example, to see a link for the first time users to log in, click this link to get the new user login page. The first field on the top requires you to enter your provisional ID or the GSTIN, which is the Goods and Services Taxpayer Identification Number. If you have enrolled to GST from an earlier tax system, you need to enter your provisional ID here, which would have been issued by the concerned tax official. The new taxpayers who have registered for GST directly in the GST portal itself will need to use their GSTIN. For demonstration purpose, I'll go ahead and enter my GSTIN here. The second field requires you to enter the temporary password received along with the provisional ID or GSTIN on your registered email address and mobile phone number. And in the third field, you'll need to enter the CAPTCHA code that appears below this field. Once done, click the Login button. In the next step, the system will prompt you to create a new username and password. This username and password will be used for subsequent logins to the GST portal in the future. I'll scroll down a bit to get a better view of all the fields. As mentioned here, the username should be of 8 to 15 characters should start with an alphabet and must comprise of alphabets, numbers and special characters such as a dot, underscore or hyphen. I'll create my username and move ahead to create my new password. As you can see, the password should be of 8 to 15 characters comprising of at least one alphabet, one number, one uppercase letter one lowercase letter and one special character. Also, after creating a new password, you'll need to enter it again in the third field for confirmation. I'll enter my password, then enter it one more time here to confirm and click the Submit button. Once the screen refreshes, you will see a confirmation message indicating that your username and password have been successfully created and you should use them in your subsequent logins at the GST portal. It's that simple.